Hi guys, that's Peter. I hope you're well. Um, today I'm going to find a very good display for my DJI Phantom 4. And uh, what I've got here is an iPhone and that fits in that holder very well, but the iPhone is much too small for me. In my opinion uh, and in my age, it's very, very hard to uh, read all these little things on the screen and uh, I can't even find all these little icons to tap with my fingers and I haven't got elephant fingers, I have normal fingers, I guess. So I decided to put an iPad instead, but the iPad uh, 2 is not compatible with that uh, remote control and it doesn't fit into the holder. And I also got this tablet right here. It's a very cheap one from China. It's about uh, $100, uh, but uh, I'm not able to uh, put a new Android version on it. And this old Android version, um, which was on it when it was shipped from China, is not compatible with the DJI Go app. So you can throw it away. And, uh, so I decided to buy uh, this thing here. And this is a Sony tablet, an Android tablet, Xperia Z3. And I read on the DJI page uh, that this should be compatible with the DJI Go app. But when I started this um, nice tablet and uh, I tried to download the DJI app, um, it says this app is not compatible with your device. Ha! Huh. So, and now, and I had to update it several times. It was shipped with uh, Android 4.4 and now I've got Android 5.0. It's not the newest Android version, but it's the version you need to uh, make DJI app running on it. And here it is. Here we go. Whoops. No. Like that. And this tablet is small enough to fit in the holder of the remote control and it's far bigger than my iPhone. This is a big difference, you see. But there is an issue with this tablet. It has the buttons for switching on and off and for uh, increasing and decreasing the volume on top if you hold it like that. It doesn't matter which way you hold it, like that or like that. The buttons will be pushed by the mount. So I decided to upgrade the holder on the remote control and I show you how I did it. Yeah, and the solution for this is as easy as it can be. Look, you got this little piece of foam with your Phantom 4. It is made to hold the gimbal safe during shipping. And if you are lucky and didn't throw it away, you can use it right now to make your Sony Xperia fit into the holder of the Phantom for remote control. Yeah, for that you cut this piece once like that. What you get is uh, something like this. Now we cut this again right here. This part has to come out of it. Look. So we got th two little cubes. These little cubes look like this. See. What you want to do now is take two little stripes of tape and mark the positions where the buttons of the Xperia are. To say it right, 
I mark the spaces where the buttons not are. Look like that. Yes. And the other one is right here. Now, this space must be left free because there is the speaker button and there is the on off switch. Okay, let's take out the Xperia. So, well, now we are going to glue this thing right here as a distance cushion. Right here and right here. For that purpose, I use a tape, double sided tape, as glue on both sides, and I cut two little pieces of it. Now I cut it. Now I have to peel off the back of this tape and I hate it. Everything goes off but the tape. Horrible. Now with the gluing tape on the back I can place it right here. Let's see. Push it a little bit. Put off this tape. Same procedure on the other side. After that, you see, I've got two of these cushions on the side. And now my Sony Xperia will fit in here very properly. Let's look if that's right. Look, it's fixed properly and the buttons are not pushed by the holder right here. It, 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 it,